All right, action. It is Rue in the park with a bunch of people that just got here from Nashville. So can you guys introduce yourselves? My name is Kim Logan. Uh, Matt Heck. My name is Jossie. Dave Beresford. Okay, guys, you're going to have to speak up because we want to hear you, you know. I know you're not Bashville because <laughs> you're from Nashville. Right. Yeah. I'm Bashville. I'm from Nashville. Exactly. I mean, come on. Have you said that before? It's a bumper sticker. It yeah. Is. I didn't even know yeah. that. Oh, I thought I made it up. It's how, you, it's how you learn how to pronounce Nashville. Yeah, not Nashville. It's Nashville. It's Nashville. Yeah. Like Louisville. Like Do you, did you know that last night was the last episode ever of the show Nashville? Sure do. Our beloved base. You were on it last night? No. Well, yeah, I was probably. I was probably on it. We didn't watch, though. We were driving. Cody, wait a minute. We're going to have to talk to you after. Yeah. Oh, my God. Long-time Nashville uh, actor and crew member. I know some other people that were, too. Oh, that was like a big part of that town for a short time. Definitely. Gave, gave a lot of jobs. I was on nine episodes of the first season. Paid my rent for like a year of school <laughs> oh my god what were you um hipster woman number one i think good for you <laughs> like good drinking a you. cocktail in the back of the bar all right good for you i didn't watch that season but yeah. i did watch it as time went on <laughs> yeah, yeah because i have kids that like drew me into nashville and now we're like what happened to the freaking plane man <laughs> did you i have no idea what that even means because I, I i'm a little detached from that but um, yeah, I don't know. It was uh, a big part yeah, of... Thank like, you for what, saying that. Years? Detached is the word I was thinking of all day. <laughs> and um, you just made me remember. I could not remember the word. Right. So talk to me. What's going on? What brought you here? And where are you from? I am originally from Florida, but um, we are all, including Matt, living in Nashville, Tennessee. And we all played together. Matt and I are sharing these wonderful instrumentalists as our band for this tour right now. We're doing New York City as our first stop. And then we're doing... D.C., Boston, Connecticut, um, New Hampshire as a little northeastern run up from Nashville because Matt is releasing an album right now. So we're kind of touring it on the heels of that. That's so cool. Where are you playing? Tonight we're at Aviv in Brooklyn. It's kind of a DIY space in Bushwick. Well, uh, yeah. that is like the cool place, and it's you guys cool. look like you'll fit right in. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I've, I've seen friends play there before, and it's really awesome. It's got a built-in stage and a bar, and it's, it's great. Great. And where do you play in D.C.? Um, that's a question for Matt. That's a, some friends of his. It's called the Fresh Prince. It's like a the French a, Prince yeah, of DC. A, it's a really cool house show series in DC that we're doing. So, are you guys all hooked into all the cool people? Is that how you get these cool gigs? I think we're sharing cool people for this like trip. Like Matt and I got together at a coffee shop in Nashville, and we're like, we can swap our cool people and join in, and you know, um, switch and meet friends, and we. Uh, yeah, we made it happen for like a week of, of running around the Northeast. I think we've been sharing everything. Now, do they all share you? Fuck no. <laughs> I don't sleep with anybody in my bands. <laughs> but you're not in their band. That's the, they're in my band. That's the quickest. All of them? Yeah. Just on well, this I mean, tour. Matt and I are, yeah, we're joining each other. But um, yeah, you can't shit where you eat, man. You can't shit where you eat. <laughs> okay, okay. That's the number one rule. All right. So how long have you been, do you play an instrument? I do. I play guitar and I write and I sing. And um, yeah, I've known Jossie actually since we were at Berkeley together in Boston. We used to come and gallivant in New York City together. Oh, so you're there. Berkeley people. We met in New York. We did yeah. meet in New York. Like the first time we hung we out. On the same floor. So are you like, you know, the elite music people? Because Berkeley has that reputation, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess it yeah. does. I mean, do you turn your nose down on like freaks that never studied anything? No, no. I mean, I mean, sometimes you know, no. You can. It's it's all just knowledge, so you can get it from anywhere. You know, it means can. we can read music. Like you know, theory Charts and shit. Yeah, hey, Charts and shit. I can read music, and I went to fucking Bible college. So, well, praise the Lord for you, Jesus. God damn it. <laughs> Me and you both didn't know their bumper stickers, Bashville and Nashville, because we didn't go to Berkeley. Right. We're uh, the lesser thans. But. No, 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 no. Was, it, I was in a great place. He hacked it. He finished. Yeah. But, yeah. I liked Berkeley. I just I didn't like Berkeley. Boston, really. Nobody finishes Berkeley. No, nobody. All the way. I went all the way. I took some time off. I did take time off. So I thought I was going to drop out, but then I ended up going back and finishing. Yeah. Were you there when James Taylor got his doctorate? Um... I don't know. I think so. I don't know. Paul Simon, John Mayer. We had a bunch of people come in. Willie Nelson. John Mayer was the dropout, though, right? 
He was, he was on the, what do you usually call it, the three-semester unaccredited John Mayer plan? Yeah, he came in, like, my freshman semester and, like, was with us for a week and taught clinics and stuff. It was actually great. He was at, like, the height of his his best album, his, like, peak. It was fun. I've seen him play live he, in a tiny little room. He, he really is charming and good. Very talented human. Yeah. So um, what's the highlight? How long did it take you to get here? A very long time. <laughs> like 15 hours. In a yeah, in a fifteen passenger van with no air conditioning. Now is it supposed? Is it always fifteen hours? It's thirteen, fifteen with stops, with peeing and gas. But That's... we were all in a van, yeah. Wow! Well, you made it, and you yeah. brought this magnificent weather, yes. and um, it sounds like you're going to have the time of your life. We really are. I love playing in Brooklyn. I um I came back and forth here to visit friends when I was in college in Boston, and nothing will ever be like playing in playing a rock and roll show in New York City. It's the most fun you can have. So are you going to pass through New York again? Um, yeah, I mean, just on the way, we're doing D.C., and then we're going back up to do Connecticut, so just driving through. But I try to come here as much as I can. I used to, like, sleep in, a like, a loft human shelf in Williamsburg, and I just, I'll rough it just to be here. I really, I love it here. But well, Williamsburg isn't roughing it anymore. It's apparently not. It's Neither is Bushwick. Yeah. Neither is Nashville. So we're Well, everybody's in Nashville right now. Someone posted yesterday uh, some link about all the people that have just moved there in the oh, last, yeah. like, two years. Half, half my friends in Nashville are from New York, and the other half are from L.A. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Barbados. Oh my God! Merely gone to Brazil. Do you know that? No, that's that's Brazil, right? No, but I learned it in Barbados, oh. and I was a little kid from one of the ladies. I stepped on a sea urchin. In, oh. in aren't you supposed to pee on that or something? Maybe, but uh, did you ever meet Rihanna? Uh, no. Yeah. No. Okay. No. We once saw her here, get walking out of a deli, and like. All of a sudden, there was nobody there. She walked out of a deli, and paparazzi started flying, like, out of nowhere. She's just a sensitive Pisces. She doesn't deserve that. She's amazing. I love her. I love her, too. Gorgeous and decorated. So do you think Nashville's still Nashville, or is it, like, not? Uh, Not not the Nashville it used to be. How long have you been there? I've been there off and on for, like, four years. I actually was spent 24 hours in Nashville once. It was so much fun. I had a blast. We got to play at Sam Ash during the day and then Third and Lindsley at night. It was great. It was so much fun. Got to go to my first Waffle House. <laughs> yeah, Waffle House is great. It's I go to Waffle House like six times a week. I want to open a Waffle House in Williamsburg. In Williamsburg, it would do really well. Now that that White Castle got knocked down, you yeah, need- I really want to. I talk about it all the time. You want to be my partners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's how much um, do you need? I don't know. Let's figure it out. I really want to do that. That's like one of my dreams. It's on my bucket list. It would be successful. It would be a successful thing. Twenty-four hours. Waffle House. Burgers and breakfast. And those those potatoes, peppers, smothered and covered. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I like. <laughs> if, we, if we all sold our instruments and our bodies, we could probably do it. No, let's just get one song. My dream is always to get one song on a television show that goes into residuals. There you go. That's my dream come true. You so you want to play us a song so we can yeah. hear what you sound like? Yeah, this song is called Neighborhood. It's about our neighborhood of East Nashville. Yeah. 
share the stage, share the bed in the back, take the least and make the most. But it never worked, we'd always be stealing each other's thunder. Go on and ride the lines with your boys, or share the weight that I've been under. Oh, I don't like you, baby, but I'm just like you, baby. I don't like you, baby. I love you, baby. That was freaking amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my my partner in crime here. You guys, now I see why you went to Berkeley. <laughs> oh, my God. That was well, beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. So Thanks where can so people much. find your music? What's your website? www.kimlogan.net. And then on every single form of social media that you could possibly imagine, I am there. Kim Logan, Kim Logan Music, what have you. I have... Uh, streaming, Spotify, Tidal, Beats, anything you want. And I also have real live vinyl records for sale. Oh, it seems like that's the new black, actually. Um, so I can go be your friend now? Absolutely. Please do. Oh, Please I'm so me. excited, Kim Logan. That's Yay. exciting. And, and you too, cute boy? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do the girls just flock all over you? I mean, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Occasionally, shy, occasionally. Oh, you're <laughs> blushing, you're blushing. Come on, you know it's true, be honest. Sure, if you have a lot of sometimes, yeah. A you know. Over here. I mean, we, do you do any modeling? <laughs> Not really, but I mean, I, you know, I model for my own He's stuff. For your Instagram page? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Instagram. Do you get a lot of likes? I'm counting. I'm, I'm hoping that, that that's going to be the next thing. That's going to launch my whole career is my Instagram likes. Well, that's what I hear. I hear that it's a very important thing. Maybe. Sometimes. Yeah. But Jossie's going to put out a record of his own song, so he's been doing some voguing for that. Look yeah. out for it. Well, you play masterfully. Do you play other instruments, too? I play drums, yeah. Um, and, you know, I write on uh, various instruments and I produce records, so I, you know, I end up playing everything. But I'm, you know, guitar is my main instrument. Some weird sitar on some of my new recordings. He's a little, little virtuoso. Well, that's wonderful. So, uh, do you want to rotate a little and get Cody in here? Does someone want to hold that? Sure. That would be great. And then we're going to talk to you too. But, but right, be oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But, but right before we lose you, and you step aside for the moment. On Ruin Who, we always like to ask our guests for a skeleton in their closet. So um, can you please share one with me? Um, I'm trying to think of a New York-related skeleton in my closet. I have a few. Um, I once threw up Four Loco in the New York City subway. So I think that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. And for that, for that, you do get, oh, where is it? You get... A brand new Ruin Who sticker. Yes, thank you. you. Thank you. And now the whole world knows. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. And, and we need one from you, too. A, a skeleton in my closet. I, right. A New York skeleton. Mm. Um, it be a Berkeley skeleton. Or Where are you from? Where are you from? West Virginia. Uh, did you ever hear of uh, Wheeling, West Virginia? I have heard of Wheeling, but I've actually never been there because it's just it's the it's the little tiny piece sticking way up at the very tippy top of West Virginia, and I'm from the like the southern part, southern tip of the state. Okay. So oh, you can have a. I got once left in Wheeling, West Virginia, when we were on tour. Yeah, we were going from Pittsburgh to I think Baltimore or something, and we had to go through West Virginia. And they left me there by accident. I got left twice. I'm a wanderer. I'm always, like, the one that, like, because I never knew when I would ever be in Wheeling, West Virginia again. So then everyone's in the van, and they're, like, driving, and they realize, uh, we're missing someone. Um, now that's a skeleton. So where, what's one from you? <laughs> um, oh, uh, I don't know. Did you ever cut school, Jesse? Uh, Jossie. Cut school? 